guys, what's up? Uh, we got Hattress here doing a deck profile on uh, Bubble Beat Heroes. So uh, let's get into the monsters. Okay, let's, uh, let's clean up some commons first. All right, we okay. got, of course, Stratos. It's like no need for an explanation, really. It's yeah. just it's Stratos. Searcher, yeah. And then two Bubble Man. I don't, I don't like running three. I actually ran three at regionals, and mm -hmm. then when I was playing dragons or against dragons, I drew Bubble Man three turns in a row, and so, so kind of clogs. Just retarded. Sort of. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then triple alias. This is just, I mean, Gemini Spark, Gemini Spark target, and then you know for uh, shining and yep. yeah. Yep. Exactly. And then double Thunder King. Okay. Um, great anti-meta card. It's going down to two guys, so you know you can only run two. Dude. But, Ran two, and ran two before before uh, March ban list, and I'm gonna run two after. Actually, I'm scrapping this deck, so I'm not gonna run it at all. <laughs> uh, one silver sentinel, just a tech card. It's it's really nice because you can uh, you can set your gem spark, or you can I mean sorry, you can set that instead of gem spark and bluff with a uh, with an alias mm -hmm. summon, and they'll think you have gem spark, and they'll MST it, and you'll get like a free card pop plus. It's a warrior. Yeah, a warrior. Nice. Yeah. So that's it for the monster lineup. It's only uh, I think it's. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's only nine monsters. Mm -hmm. No photon thrasher. No thrasher. Mm -hmm. I used to run thrasher. Um, it's only good for X seed fodder. So, I mean, it's it's not that good. If you have if you already have monsters on the field, you can't summon it anyways. So it's just it's just dead sometimes. So all right, that's the logic I had behind taking it out. Onto so, the spells. Yeah, really heavy spell count. <laughs> Reborn, heavy, dark hole. None of those got hit. The so. Trinity. Yep. Still gonna run those. Two e call. I mean, of course. Searcher. You gotta yeah. run your searchers. You gotta run the rota. Oh, of course. Um, and then I only run two sparks because you only have three targets for them. You only have two, uh, three alias. So, I mean, three of them is uh, once again like at regionals. I kept drawing them when I didn't have. Yeah, any, it can be uh, dead. Yeah. Dead in the hand. And then only one super poly. It's a great card. This is like. One of the best cards in the deck, obviously. Yeah. But the discard cost is just, it's, I don't know, I don't, mm -hmm. I would rather run through Miracle Fusion, honestly. <laughs> this is this, this card. Crazy is, top it's, deck. Yeah, it's the hardest. Late game deck. top deck is amazing. Yeah. And then two dualities help with the consistency. Two lances to help with, you know, mm -hmm. when you get that shining out into maybe a bottomless, you can lance it and I don't know, protect yep. your big monsters. And exactly. And then two MSTs, beside the third one. Okay. And so that's it for spells. So we're gonna okay. move on to the to the, the traps. To the traps. To the one torrential. Oh my god. Only one. Only one. Two bottomless. Okay. And then for attack or so let's do compulses. Okay. Those are great for this format. Mm -hmm. um, only one warning now, because you know it's going down, so just yeah. one and one judgment. Alright. And then for tech hate, got two mirror forces. Okay. So we're not really scared of that Stardust, that Starlight Road, because yeah. Shining is such a big monster, and, and like most of the extra deck monsters are, are pretty big, so you can always get over Stardust, not really scared of that. And some people aren't even expecting your yeah. force. <laughs> and then 2D Prisons, um, you know, get rid of stuff that, I mean, if they, if, I mean, they... Graphas. Yeah, get rid of Graphas, get rid of, uh, I guess, Card Trooper if you really want to. Sankins yeah. and Mains that they tried to attack. Yeah. And then one Hero Blast... Like it's a get get that alias back in your hand, destroy one of your opponent's monsters. Another, I mean, helps you get another Gemini Spark target, I guess. Right. And then one Starlight Road. So. Nice. Yes. So that's it for the main deck. It's forty cards. Yep. Okay. Exactly. And one then extra deck. deck. Wait, hold on. Let me check something. This is not an extra deck. Hero Shining. Yes, this is Double. the best card in the deck. This is ridiculous. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Besides that, I have nothing else to say about it. I mean, <laughs> you miracle fusion for it. It's just, 30, it it's like 20 or 3200. Yeah. Hard to get over. You get destroyed. You get your Stratus back. You get your Alias and your Bubble Man back. Yeah. You get whatever. Ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. One Nova Master. I mean, Super Poly with a Zen Mains for it. Yeah. You attack over something, you draw a card. It's a great plus. Great Tornado. Not much to say. I mean, mm -hmm. Super Poly with the Wind. Um, I actually traded my Escarita out today. So I would run that too. Um, mm -hmm. It's just the dark target for the Super Poly. Ab Zero. Some people like to run two of him because um, they like the Miracle Fusion with Bubble Man to get him. Uh, really? He's really good. I mean, when he leaves the field in any way, you destroy it. You, you uh, regeki your opponent's monsters. So yeah, really good card. Um, I opted to run one of him. I didn't feel like it was necessary because I only run two Bubble Man, so I didn't really feel like it was necessary to run two of him. 
And then one Gaia, this is not a very good card, but sometimes you need to get over that earth monster that they have that you mm -hmm. can't get over, so mm -hmm. you get around one of each. So basically just two Shinings and uh, one of every every element. Mm -hmm. And then one Chimera Tech, uh, Sci uh, Cyber Dragon, just for those machine matches. You guys are probably in contact, I don't know, whatever. Makes sense, makes sense. And then for the Exceeds, there's Black Ship. It's okay. a great card. Um, yeah, not much to say. Utopia, okay. staple. Um, Excalibur and Blade Armor. So most of the time you'd be going into these two. So you Stratos, search a Bubble Man, search some Bubble Man, go into Excalibur, and then detach, and then flip a Miracle Fusion, and you get out like a Shining or something like or a, or an Absolute Zero or something right. like that. That's going for the kill. It's crazy, yeah. And then uh, Photon Pep Butterfly. Dude, happy. This is this is only a rare, but this is like. It's, I, I, th I would almost consider it like a staple in like most extra decks. Dude, it's coming out it's, as a... Oh, wait, no, it's not. Never is mind. It not? No, I don't Never think mind. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I forgot to pull out Stardust from my binder, but one Stardust Dragon for the Starlight Road. So just pretend there's a Stardust in here and an Excree down here. All right. So I don't actually have my side deck for this deck, but, I mean, main things you would side deck were... Or, I mean... Rivalry. Like, yeah, Rivalry of Warlords. It, everything's a warrior, so yeah. that's a fantastic card. You can you can go into any of your... Ex, or, so you can go into uh, Blade Armor, you can go into Excalibur, you can go into any of your fusions. So, I mean, that's fantastic. Um, let's see. Side in the third MST. You side in um, Soul Drains for Mermails. Um, mm. Let's see, what else is there? You side in those Cyber Dragons for the Chimera Tech. Yes, of course. Um, so pretty standard side decks. I, I guess... I also sided in Veilers, um, mm -hmm. just for certain matches that, you know, you need Veilers. Like, I guess wind-ups, but yeah. they won't be as prominent next format. Definitely so not. I'll take those out. Um, Maxis, I used to side those, but I don't know who's mm -hmm. going to side Maxis anymore. I mean, wind-ups are Dead. dying. I kind of. So, I mean, besides that, it's all pretty standard. Side maybe a second um, second Torrential, third Mirror Force. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, and then also side the side the second super poly. Right. In case in case you play like a hero mirror match, yeah. or you just feel like one wasn't enough in your first game, you can always put that second one in your second game and third game. Also, get rid of those logias too. Yeah, nice. it's also really good against logias because you can't chain anything to it, so mm -hmm. you can't negate it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, it's a it's a pretty fun deck. It's I I honestly didn't really like it because you you use, you lose hand advantage pretty dang fast just because with with the bubble man plays. To special summon the Bubble Man, you have to you have to get rid of your entire hand. You have to set everything, and then if they like pop a heavy storm or something, GG, bro. Well, then you're <laughs> top decking, and if you can't top deck that Miracle Fusion, and you're top decking stuff like Starlight Road or you know Compulse or you know, Super Poly with no cards in hand and no monsters on field, you're screwed. So I mean, it, it just didn't feel like it was fitting my play style. But I made the deck, and it was fun while it lasted. So. <laughs> Yeah, all right. that's all I got to say. All right, thanks for uh, showing us uh, Bubble Bee Heroes. All right, see you guys next time.